gentlemen, the Reptile Hobby. I'm Galen Tom, and you're watching a Python Pit. I'd like to announce the winners of my Easter Egg Challenge video. The two winners are Hector from Bakersfield, California, and Kyle from Northfield, Ohio. Congratulations, and thanks for playing. One thing I would like to add is that there are actually only two people who entered, uh, at least emailed me the locations of the eggs. So if you don't play, you can't really win. And they're going to be sent $25 gift cards, $25 each, from most likely Walmart. Now, there may be a few of my viewers out there who view my log via a forum, and I'm not going to name names. The forum pinched my posts, so to speak. Basically, they took it down saying it violated their uh, rules of the forum that uh, any contest must be specifically approved by the administrator, which in one forum, there's like 50 rules. I'm sorry, I'm not going to read all of them. So, unfortunately, I'm not saying you guys were inapplicable, but my post went out there and it got taken down. So, I'm sorry. Uh, do keep in mind that I will be having more of these contests. I am thinking of having one during 4th of July where you might find the flags, just a thought, not really sure. But I'll definitely keep you posted on this and I'll try to play nice by the rules of the forums. But if they don't allow that thing, you know, if they think this is a big contest and it's a big spam thing, which it's not, um, just, it's just a small contest, uh, talk to the forum uh, webmasters or administrators of the forum sites uh, if you guys are kind of disappointed that you didn't get a chance to participate. I try to get out there. I always say please subscribe to my videos. So that way you know when a new one's coming out and you'll see this contest and that should solve that. So on to new business. This video is going to feature how to clean and even sterilize terrariums. Now some people may have issues when they have a sick animal and unfortunately sometimes the animal dies and before they want to reuse a terrarium, especially if it's an expensive exoterrazilla or what have you, uh, they want to sterilize it. I spoke with Garrett Damar from Royal Constrictors Design on how to clean a terrarium properly or sterilize it and he gave me a few pointers and I added to it. So I want to show you what I happened to pick up at a thrift store called Opportunity House near my neighboring town of Vacaville, California. It was really good find. It's really dirty and there's a part missing but it has great potential. So let me show you what I got and what I'm going to do. So this is what I purchased from the thrift store. It is an Exoterra terrarium. It was only, as you can see there, ten dollars. Um, it's very dirty, very grimy, as you can see in there. It looks like it stayed outside a little bit. Uh, there is some calcium deposits on the side. So I'm not sure if this was stored in a garage. It has bird poop there too. <laughs> Uh, it, it, it's it's a mess. It really is. But it, it has no screen, which I'm pretty sure I could find another one or make one myself. But for 10 bucks, I couldn't pass it up. And I do have the things to clean and sterilize it. You can see it's in good condition. Lock does work. Doors work. No cracks, no visible cracks. I don't care if it holds water because I'm not going to put anything amphibious or a fish, obviously, in here. So the first product I'm going to use is just a good old base of dish soap. I'm going to just scrub that thing clean and just get it as clean as possible with this. I may have to have several tries and several soakings to break up that grime. But the first and foremost thing to use is just basic detergent dish soap. And after the dish soap, I will use good old bleach Clorox bleach then after the bleach I am going to use F10 again uh, thoroughly wash out the Clorox make sure there's no residue and then use this and last but certainly not least I will use quadricide again.
see it is clean to see a reflection of <laughs> my lighting but um yeah it came out really good there's a still a little bit of uh, grime in this uh areas here which i just had to do a little detailing like i said everything's cleaned up so terrera it's a little wet in there but yeah pretty pretty good cleaning so once again thank you for watching and uh had fun doing this one had fun doing the contest and i will do another one soon hopefully there will be more people who will participate or i'll just do one prize since i had two literally guys i'm not kidding there was only two people so uh i had like 42 definitely were 40 views on my youtube on that so if you don't play you can't try to win uh, whatever so thank you again please like and subscribe and definitely subscribe so you be aware of the next contest and i'll talk to you guys again soon hopefully next week thank you bye